we're located near the LHCB interaction point, which is approximately one meter further this way. These are about two meters from the interaction point. These aluminum trays contain stacks of CR39 and macrofoil plastic, and highly ionizing particles passing through them will leave damage tracks that can then be exposed by etching and microscopic analysis. We have a second type of detector, which are blocks of aluminum. A monopole slowing down and stopping in the aluminum can bind to the nuclear magnetic moment of the aluminum nuclei and then later be scanned through a squid superconducting quantum error interference device magnetometer, which allows us to look at the monopoles directly and have them trapped in the piece of aluminum.